Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corky and this is episode three, of season two of Life After That. So we have moved, so we have, we're not, well, we're still in the same home. We've just moved our office into uh, a new part of the house. Um, we are here today with a new episode for November. Um, we are in the season two. It's been going okay recently and we are about to play Sporting CP, Sporting Club Club Portugal um in the europa league um we are also about to start a sporting blog just purely by coincidence we're about to start a blog over on the website as well corkyboost.com of course um we're going to show you the fixtures for november very quickly <clears throat> and as we can see it has not been a very good month at all um we've started here with a one all draw away to brighton and um, we'll show you the goals here axel witzel scoring in the first minute uh, Colin Hughes equalising then 12 minutes later, so well 11 minutes later really. Um, we show the goals here first of all, lovely ball out wide left, uh, Karbenik plays back to Trossard, plays across to Witzel, who's coming in and makes it 1-0. We see here Kukoc gets down the line, hits it back to Ubisanya, goes on the line again, crosses it back to Colin Hughes, Colin Hughes doing what he does best and putting the ball in to make it one all the rest of the match was pretty evenly balanced as you see there shots 14 to 17 we had a lot more shots on target so we do so therefore we better xg they had more possession they had a better pass completion rate but a fairly evenly balanced game um one all probably was the correct result in fairness uh we then played our second europa league game against fiorentina we are away from home again um as you see there we've come away with a 2-0 defeat we're not, obviously we didn't score in that game so we're not going to show you the highlights but you may see there um fiorentina scored two goals in the space of three minutes right at the end of the first half didn't really get much back into it from there uh we then went on to play chelsea and um, this time we we're at home as you see we've come away there with a 3-1 defeat uh which was very disappointing especially we, we took an early lead late in the first half chelsea equalized just before half time and then two more goals from kai havertz sealed the victory we did have bumper catch sent off in that game in centre midfield which was a little bit disappointing um if you have been keeping up with the ted lasso tv show i'm not going to give too much away um but if you are familiar with the last episode that was out uh, just last week you'll see that the spurs game was very much our west ham game um we've it, it was an absolute disaster so it was i'm sorry that is a little bit of a spoiler alert um we've had three men sent off and we've lost three now you see there hoiberg scored in the 11th minute uh, it stayed like that for a long time. We had Dawkins sent off just before half time, Endor sent off um, just on the hour, just after the hour mark, and then Yam Mass for a second yellow card two minutes later. So we're down to eight men, um, and then two goals very, very late on. You see 87th and 88th minute there. Tommy Winchester with an OG. It was a deflected shot, um, has come off and beat Zorro, has come off Tommy Winchester. Um, Patrick Berg scored with a free kick right at the death. So that brings us up to the game against Sporting that we're about to play. Um, we'll have a little quick go look at the team lineup here. Um, we'll make our usual opposition instructions. <coughs> um, Kukoc is injured as well. Arlo Dixon is accidentally unregistered for this one unfortunately um we did lose Thierry Zorro as well to injury so he's going to be out for six to nine months um we did give Demat a little go in goal but um it, he's played in the, those last three or four games it's not been going well so we're bringing Jan Sommer back in Jan Sommer is what 36 I think 34 years of age um so he's not completely um over the hill just yet but I, I fear he may be a little bit on the way um we're going to bring uh Bakrande in for babatunde um he's recommended 45 minutes that's fine um actually we're going to bring him back in because we're going to have to bring out kukoc who is injured and we're going to put mccracken in on the right wing um so fairly standard team we're going with um we've got jan summer at the back we've got sam obasanya at right back mcadoo jan mass center back jeff goodman at left back we've got doggins momba catch in center midfield uh, we've got Coburn bringing it coming in on the right wing. We've got Danny Rojas playing in behind Jimmy Tart and Colin Hughes, who is in the form of his life right now, playing on that left wing. Um, as mentioned, Jimmy Tart up front as well. <clears throat> so we'll get into the game. Um, we'll see pretty strong team here, yeah, from uh Sporting. Um, I say we're just about to start a new blog over on the website, so by all means go check that out. Uh we're into the first minute here. Yamas picks up a loose ball, <clears throat> plays in the midfield looking for Dawkins. 
Comes all the way across the sand. We'll be standing on the right wing. He's cutting inside. He's making a great run forward. Plays a lovely ball into Coburn. I'm not sure who got the shot down there because it looked like Coburn went over. Um, but it has gone over the bar anyway. Um, we do need to, after obviously the, the most recent sort of spring update from Football Manager, I do need to run the uh, real name fix again because I see there that Roma are currently sitting on Danny Rojas. It was very unlucky. I think he could have went the opposite side of the goalkeeper there. Jimmy Tart could have picked that up if it came back. Um, but you may see there, yeah, Roma, Capitolini. So we need to re-employ that. Um, you may notice that um, Sporting are currently playing in what looks to be a different kit um, with the, the, the new blog that's coming. Um, that's a penalty. It's going to be a penalty. <clears throat> Um, we have designed some new kits for Sporting, so they are they're already installed in the game. So Sporting are currently playing in the new kit that we've designed for them. So it may look a little different from the standard kits. That's why. It's simple as that. <clears throat> so Trincao opens the scoring in the 23rd minute, which is a little bit disappointing because I feel like as a penalty we probably shouldn't have give away. But it's okay. Plenty of time to come back. Danny Rojas has a free kick here. He's chipping it in towards the back post. It's in the air. Inacio clears it. Comes back to Rojas. And the Coburn. It's a good save. Inacio clears again. Long Hughes brings it in to Dawkins in the midfield. McAdoo's pushing forward. Back to Bumber catch. Can he get Goodman involved? Goes up the left wing. Can he get a cross in? Cuts it back to Colin Hughes. Big ball to the back post. Coburn's there. But it's gone over. Yeah, also realising that we have no audio going on right now. So uh, I'm not sure is there an injury going on here. Or there's a change perhaps. Let's get some audio added in. Says you. With the follow-up, Asagio's first shot was blocked. Or, is, I don't know how you pronounce that. Esgao. 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 First shot's blocked there. Follows up with the, the, the rebounds. Makes it 2-0. This is a very disappointing start. Um, So, uh, trying to get some audio going on here. Uh, Bumber catch is carrying a knock, potential lower leg injury. I mean, we're at home as well. Let's thrash our arms. What was that? Yeah. Um, there is, of course, going to be a new database released very, very soon to include some of the new players, likes of Zava. If you're watching the, that's a decent effort by Trincao. If you're watching the series, you're up to date on season three. Um, obviously there is a new player. Zava has been introduced. Um, so we will be releasing any database very soon to include him. We're going to make a substitution here um, because it is not going well. Bumbercatch is carrying a knock. We'll bring... Um, do you know what? We'll bring Richard in here. <coughs> Daniel Haas is playing well, is our best player. Coburn's not playing so well. I'm not cooking there. Uh, I'll bring Scott in here on the right wing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Mass is playing really poorly, actually. I'll bring Duvernay in. He's booked and he's playing a 6.0. And Isaac isn't playing well either. Um, I want you to go out there and make the difference. <clears throat> Let's do that. <clears throat> Let's change this mentality up to very attacking. Hughes brings the ball back to Richard. Back to Hughes. He's making a drive forward and Colin Hughes is there. It's his eighth goal of the season. I feel like Colin Hughes is the only man that scores goals first right now. <clears throat> it's a lovely ball back from Richard. <clears throat> it's a nice finish. We're doing well. Let's encourage them a little bit. Shard involved again. Danny Ross with a ball to nobody. 
<clears throat> a little bit of football here from sporting employing that three at the back system so they are uh Coates and just and Ignacio Mullar steals the ball, plays a lovely ball for Jimmy Tardy. Say, oh, no, it's a good save by the keeper. It was a very good save. Could have been back in it. Big ball forward. There's a shout. What's that? That's oh, a free kick. Okay. Um, Poro's injured. That's okay. It doesn't affect us. Colin Hughes is struggling for fitness. Sam Obsania. Isaac's still not playing well. Uh, do we bring out Colin Hughes? And we'll bring in Matty Cook in here. Sharon Durr uh, has been developing very well for us. Maybe we bring in Tyler Shannon. Dawkins is playing pretty well. Uh, don't know what to do. Danny Rojas, do we put Danny Rojas up front? Jamie Tart's playing okay, but he's not great. We'll, we'll bring Jamie Tart out, bring Sharon Durr up front. Continue to go and make the difference. <clears throat> Let's demand some more. And we can't. Okay. <clears throat> demand more. Here we go. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's going to go this way. It's five games this month. No wins, one draw, four defeats. Uh, that's it. This is a disappointing result. Because we really should have done better. Paulinho was injured in the 39th minute. Uh, disappointed. We should have won that. We're at home. You gotta make your home games count. So we'll get a little look at the group table, see where we stand. Taking an awful long time waiting for the media reaction. Here we go. So we're we've dropped down to third. It's five games. <sighs> So we play five games, we play Celtic next. Which we need to win, we should win. So we need I need Sporting to win against. Okay. Uh Bummer Catch for a couple of days. Yeah, Mass is out of the next game. Uh that's fine. That's okay. Um <clears throat> So we have one game left. Um, we are a point behind Fiorentina, so we need a win. We play Celtic. We need Sporting to beat Fiorentina uh, to guarantee us qualification. So I think that'll be okay. I think we can do that. Uh, but yes, looking at the results for this month, it has not been great. Um, we as as we mentioned, you know, we, we've played five games, we've drawn one, we've lost four. Um, Colin Hughes the only little glimmer of light here, scoring two of the three goals that we scored this month. Um, but that is it for November. We do move into December next. Um, we have quite a few games here. We've got Brentford, Celtic, Leeds, Norwich, and then Liverpool, West Ham, and Arsenal. So we've got seven games coming up. They are going to be tough games. Um, particularly towards the end of the month, there is also the January transfer window. Uh. Due, well sorry apologies that's due after that so we're gonna have a little look at the squad and see if there's any areas we can strengthen i think certainly central midfield is an area not so much for concern right now but certainly an area we can do better in so we might look to bring in a midfielder in january but we'll do a little bit of scouting through december and see where we go from there um as for now that is it for this episode i do hope you've enjoyed it we will be back tomorrow with the next episode uh episode four where we will play those games in december and um, we'll see how we get on from there uh that's it for me i hope you've enjoyed this episode we'll see you in the next one thank you take care thanks for watching the video i really hope you've enjoyed it uh, you can check out one of these recommended videos and as always please do like share subscribe and comment it helps us to grow the channel. It helps us to bring you more content like this in the future. In the meantime, I've been Corky. It's been an absolute pleasure. We will see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care.